Dear friends and professional, welcome to my channel. This is Jim Faruk Ahmed for you. In this video, I am talking about Open System Interconnections Reference Model Functionality, understanding the OSI model and how it relates to net network design, development and security is essential in preparing for the CISA, CISOM and CISSP exam. Now, data communication systems component and in this section sender medium and receiver are the most important part and communication between computer over networks are made possibly by protocols so what is protocol actually a protocol is a set of rules and restriction that define how data is transmitted over a network medium now representation of osi reference model to remember the most of the OSI, you must first remember the name of the seven layers in proper order. One common method of memorizing them is, please do not tell secret password anyone. Here layer 1, 2 and 3 are called network support layer. Layer 4 is called heart of the OSI. And layer 5 6 and 7 are called user supported layer to be better understand you need to know whether they are top down or bottom off and it is continuously running in looping here sender to receiver layer 7 to layer 1 and receiver to sender layer 1 to layer 7 In OSI model, the term encapsulation and de-encapsulation refers to a process in which protocol information is added to the data and removed from the data when it passes through the layers. So encapsulation, adding header and tailor to the data and for de-encapsulation, removing header and tailor from the data. OSI model encapsulation and de-encapsulation steps. Here, for encapsulation purpose, application layer creates a message. Application layer passes the message to the presentation layer. Presentation layer encapsulates the message by adding information to it. And this process of passing continuous until message reaches the physical layer. At the physical layer, the message is converted into bit and is transmitted. And in the receiver side, the receiver captures the bit from the physical layer, convert message bit to data link frame and send data link layer. Data link layer strips information and send message up to the network layer, de-encapsulate, performed here and finally receiver get it. Now OSI layer in details, layer 7 the application layer and for application layer, application layer is responsible for interfacing user application, network services and operating system with the protocol stack. A networking device gateway work in this layer. And application layer, firewalls also operate at this layer. Other networking device or filtering software may observe modified traffic at this layer. Some example of protocols are HTTP, FTP, FTP, LDP, SMTP, Telnet, SNTP, POP3, SRPC, EDI. Now, Presentation layer, that's mean layer 6. And in presentation layer, we know presentation layer is responsible for number one, transforming data, encryption and compression and interfacing. It is important to know it composes common or standard structure and formatting rules onto the data and most file or data formats operate within this layer here ascii zip bmp avi 
WAV is the protocol and in session layer we know session layer is responsible for stabilizing maintaining and terminating communication sections between two computers manage dialogue description and establish checkpoint for grouping and recovery their professional communication session can be operated in one of three different disciplines that's mean simplex half duplex and full duplex and some protocols are nfs structured query language and rpc now transport layer and transport layer is layer 4 we know transport layer is called the heart of the osi reference model so transport layer is responsible for managing the integrity of a connection and controlling the session it accepts the pdu segmentation process to process delivery and transport layer includes mechanism for segmentation sequencing error checking controlling the flow of data error correction and some protocols are tcp udp spx ssl now network layer and network layer is uh, la layer 3 and network layer is responsible for providing best path routing and logical addressing the network layer accepts the segment from the transport layer and adds information to it to create a packet and packet includes the source and destination IP address it is not responsible for verifying guaranteed delivery it manages error detection and traffic control some protocols are ICMP, RIP, OSPF now data link layer and it's layer 2 and we know data link layer is responsible for formatting the packet and convert packet into frame and once the frame is formatted it is sent to the physical layer for transmission and data link layer contains two sub layers logical link control and mac sub layers some protocols are point to point protocol s l i p erp l2f isdn and the last layer that's mean layer one is physical layer and we know physical layer is responsible for accept frame from the data link layer convert the frame into bits and receiving bits from the physical medium and converting them into a frame and network hardware device that functions at this physical layer are network interface cards halves repeaters concentrators and amplifiers and we know the physical layer protocol and interface are eia tia x21 hssi sonnet b24 and b35 thank you for watching